Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrock in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You clicked on the Weather Now link with a late evening update, almost 10 o'clock in the evening. Still kind of damp, some leftover drizzle after some widespread rain today, uh, heavy at times. But uh, later on tonight and towards daybreak, uh, the atmosphere should be drying out. You take a look at pictures down at Oakland Beach down in Warwick. This is as of almost 10 o'clock. You still got some moisture, some drizzle on the camera lens. But again, much later tonight. Uh, showers ending but uh, so much humidity lingering that more than likely we'll see some patchy fog overnight into early tomorrow morning high temps today topping out in the uh, in the lower 70s in most locations we should be uh, much warmer for your wednesday we're thinking um, around 82 83 degrees actually a nice day coming up for uh, your wednesday temperatures now and again this is as of the almost 10 o'clock hour it's still in the upper 60s including uh, 67 in Providence. So threat tracker overnight through Wednesday and Thursday, low-level green, nothing really high impact, significant or severe. So we'll kind of take a break, keep things kind of quiet and warm things up. So showers ending overnight. Uh, warmer weather resumes starting tomorrow afternoon through Saturday, all uh, four of those days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, temperatures that should be at least low in the middle 80s a little cooler by sunday weekend is somewhat unsettled not completely um saturday an isolated shower <laughs> or thunderstorm and then a better chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms on sunday it'll be interesting this is something that we we'll want to keep an eye on uh, especially on sunday <coughs> excuse me uh, some of the thunderstorms uh, could be strong so that's something that we'll watch closely the latter part of the weekend in the meantime some decent weather on the way uh, what's left of today's rain is starting uh, to pull offshore, uh, so the steady rain is offshore. We're still left with a little bit of drizzle, uh, both a warm front and a cold front coming through. All of that sliding offshore and the drier air behind that working in overnight. Meanwhile, a cold front across the upper Midwest, which has got a thunderstorms, uh, not a factor in our forecast. So let me walk you through this hour by hour, starting off uh, this evening, and what's left of uh, some of the either light showers or drizzle is the edging offshore now tomorrow morning early five six seven a.m note how we start off with low clouds and fog but look at connecticut sun's already developing so we'll see some rapid clearing developing sunshine temperatures respond nicely looking at readings in the uh lower 80s a humid day so certainly the feel of summer tomorrow evening at six o'clock temps around 80 tomorrow uh night around 11 o'clock around this time Slight chance of an isolated shower, but it's mainly dry. Any low clouds and fog early in the morning, burning off to sunshine. Temperature at 70. Uh, Wednesday afternoon looking good, low 80s, about 10 degrees warmer than what we had today. Good deal of sunshine and just enough humidity to give us that summery feel. Uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday all featured temperatures that are in the 80s. An isolated thunderstorm on Saturday, a scattered thunderstorm on Sunday. And again, um, worth watching on sunday as some of the thunderstorms could be strong so but that's still what five days out but check back with us temperature a little cooler on sunday with readings in the upper 70s that's the latest weather now update of course my complete forecast so just a few minutes away on eyewitness news at 10 o'clock and again on uh, wpri channel 12 at 11 o'clock and mishes in uh, early in the morning at 4 30 a.m with your updated forecast thanks for logging in we'll talk to you soon